Should Prince Andrew get back his three million a, a year taxpayer-funded security? The disgraced Duke has reportedly launched a bid to get his bodyguards back after he was stripped of his protection following his civ civil sex assault case brought by Virgin uh, Virginia Griffith. The former Home Secretary, Priti Patel, has apologised to King Charles for causing embarrassment after suggesting a review of Prince Andrew's security. But is she right? Should taxpayers be footing the bill for Prince Andrew's security? And we're now joined by politics correspondent for Politics, Joe Ava Santina and former Royal, uh, former Royal Editor of The Sun, Duncan Larkham. Good morning to you both. I mean, Duncan, let's start with you because it's an awful lot of money, isn't it? We know that he's been... He's not a working royal anymore. Why do you think then he, he has a case for this security being reinstated? Well, I, th I think it's a very unpopular argument I'm going to try and make, um, but he's a member of the royal family. He didn't choose to be a, a royal. He was born into that. He's the brother of the serving King of England. And unfortunately, with that comes a tremendous security risk from kidnappers, anyone out there that might want to do him harm. And I think much as we might be almost revolted by Prince Harry, uh, Prince, Prince Andrew, sorry. Um, I think that even if we have, are revolted by him, you, ca you can't just leave a senior member of the royal family to fend for themselves. But couldn't the cost be borne by the royal family, by him himself? It, Why do you think there's a case here for the yeah, taxpayer I mean, fitting the £3 million bill? There's the rub, isn't it? I mean, to people are not going to want to be paying their taxes towards that. Um, but, you know, the royal family are in... in they're an institution, they're a public institution. And um, Prince Andrew, whether we like it or not, is still a part of it. Mm. He's still a threat, Ava, isn't he? Well, I mean, is he a threat because he was born into the royal family or is he a threat because, you know, or a target because of the, chump the company that he chose to keep? I mean, mm. you know, we're all still intensely fascinated by that ridiculous interview he gave to the BBC in 2019. Mm. Yeah, you know, he's absolutely disgraced. And, you know, at the moment, his security is paid for by King Charles. I don't see why that cost should go across to the taxpayer or go across to the Met Police. I mean, if you think about the kind of service that most people can now expect from the Metropolitan Police in London, you know, there's a... What, a one woman is killed every three days. You know, if I can't get protection, why should the, why should the disgraced Prince Andrew? Mm, but I... But you, I mean, he, disgraced, yes, but not... Convicted of any crime mm -hmm. at this point. But also not working, right? He's not a working royal and he's, you know, arguably the big reason why we have the royal family is because it brings in a lot of tourism. That's the argument that's always put down. You know, over the past couple of years, this has been intensely embarrassing for the country. If you look at what went on in the States, I mean, over in America, our biggest influx of tourists come from there. And there was headline news for the best mm. part of six months. What has that done to our economy and our mm. tourism? I mean, Duncan, you know, the, the royal family has got a real... sort. Of, if you look at the broader brand of the royal family to modernise, try and connect with the British public since mm -hmm. the passing of Her Majesty, late Majesty the Queen, yeah. I mean, this is, wouldn't be a good look, would it, if you've got a, a prince who's not working, mm -hmm. you know, and the decision has been made, that has been made for him not to work, so there must be some reason for that. He is disgraced with the companies kept, at the very least. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's well, not a good look, it, is it? Is, if we're trying to modernise the royal family and saying, well, actually, we're going to pay for this guy's security. Yes, I mean, I'm not a huge advocate of the taxpayer having to foot the bill, but you've got to remember, I mean, in 1974, there was a very real and uh, real attempt to kidnap Princess Anne, and we know what happened to Lord Mountbatten in, in Northern Ireland. Um, the royal family are unfortunately, in the crosshairs of people that But there's, people there's that plenty of them that don't get security. I, you know, and Zara Phillips doesn't get this kind of security. She's, I mean, she's quite public, she's target. I mean, Mike Tyndall, I mean, he's quite a public guy. He does a lot of television work. He could easily be a threat. He doesn't get all that million-pound security. Yes, but is, he, uh, is, is Prince Andrew not the, well, the brother of the king? Mm. Um, and I think he is a... a, a he was born much more senior member of the royal family than Zara Phillips was, or Mike Tyndall, for that matter. Um, yeah, you, you don't have to give protection to the entire family, but I think you'd be surprised at what level of security there is around people like Zara Phillips. It just it doesn't ever but, get talked about. So, so, therefore, do you think that Prince Harry should get security? Because this, this early this year in May, he lost mm. his bid to bring a legal challenge against the Home Office to pay for his security. A again, to make a very unpopular argument, I believe that when Prince Harry is in this country, he should absolutely be given... He's coming pay. here in a couple of weeks' time, isn't yeah, he? And mm. he, he will have to bring his own security. 
I think he, he should be. I mean, he went to Afghanistan, he is a target. Ava, what do you make of it? Because I think the thing is, you know, we're talking about energy prices, people will be thinking about their bills as well. There's a cost of living crisis where people are really feeling it in their pocket. And when it comes to them thinking, well, hold on, we'll pay however many million for a member of the royal family to have security, when actually they're not performing their yeah. duty. That's why they haven't been given it. Yeah, so absolutely. Far. And I mean, also, you know, I think a lot of people will look at him more of a, as a celebrity rather than uh, a part of the royal family. I mean, what does that even mean, a, a member of the royal family? Why is that any different to, say, the Kardashians or say, you know, I mean, look, look, look back at Jade Goody when she left Big Brother, right? She was probably one of the most targeted celebrities we'd ever seen in this country. OK, she couldn't leave her house. Should we, the taxpayer, have paid for her to be safe in her home in the same way that we are for Prince Andrew. I mean, where, where's the line going to stop? We can't afford to. Well, on, on, on that argument, the positive argument, should we be paying for their homes to live in? Yeah. Uh, should we be paying? Is, well, are, are you no. an anti-royalist in that? Are you thinking <laughs> Look, that should, should we do away with the royal family altogether? Look, I think that perhaps it has had its time. I think, you know, since the Queen has left us, I think moving, yes, moving forward. Yeah, I mean, I think we should reassess. It's a hell of a lot of money and I don't think we can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and just on Harry, what do you think about in, in the current situation? Do do you think Harry should get his police protection security when he comes from Well, from look, us? I think there's sort of a different target that's going after Prince Harry, isn't there? There's kind of, you know, we've ramped up the argument to a point where it's, it's extreme and perhaps maybe we should look out for him with a couple of police officers. But I would say the same, you know, he's a celebrity, he's chose to go and live over in America and that's your decision. So. Uh, I've got to ask, Doug, what do you make of the fact that former Home Secretary Priti Patel has emailed King Charles's aid to suggest that they might consider a review because there's now she's then had to apologize for the embarrassment caused by this coming out i mean what what do you make of her involvement and in taking this action I, th I think it would cause a few blushes i think it was the fact that it's got out into the public domain security is absolutely not something they, they never even tell us what the bill for security for the royal family is every year we don't we have no idea as taxpayers mm. they don't tell us it's a secret so I think anything that kind of lifts the lid on that is, is an embarrassment. Mm. Uh, a lot of people getting in touch on this, by the way. I, I'd say that the vast majority saying no, uh, but Jan on email says, Prince Andrew is a major part of our royal family. Yes, protect him without question. And Cyril says he should get protection as brother to the king, end of. But lots and lots of people saying, if Harry cannot have state-funded security in the UK, neither should Andrew, says so Steele on Twitter. Uh, Nicholas and Matthew as well also agreeing with the same sentiments. It's pretty overwhelming there from... Uh, people watching this morning. Thank and Ava. from Ava as well. Yeah. Thanks very much. <laughs> Thanks very much to both of you.